Welcome to TBG and today in this video I will talk about Resident Evil 4 Remake, its release date, its announcement date, plus if Sony buys EA or Ubisoft, PC gaming will be in trouble. Why? With that said, I'm keeping a target of 80 likes for this video. So the first news, Resident Evil 4 Remake is going to come in 2022 and Nibel, who is a verified leaker and he has always given a confirmed news regarding games and he has tweeted and I quote, New report on Resident Evil 4 Remake, the village scene and a decent portion of the game takes place at night now, scarier and inspired by the RE4 betas which is Resident Evil 4 betas, side characters have bigger roles, add us, campaign will be expanded, possibly early 2022 reveal is going to come regarding Resident Evil 4 Remake. And when Nibble talks about a very important thing, which is Ada's campaign, I think Ada is Ada Wong from Resident Evil a game. And so, so Ada's campaign will be expanded and we could be seeing more and more into the character of Ada if I, if I am completely right about that. And I'm sure a lot of people might have played the old Resident Evil 4, which released way back in 2005. And the story of Resident Evil 4 was fantastic. And when a remake is in the cards from Capcom, and which is going to get announced in March, April time. Uh, so we could be seeing Capcom working very hard on it and we could be getting a better game in terms of graphic story is already there with Resident Evil 4. A better graphic, a better scenario is just what Resident Evil fan game gamers would be expecting from this game. And March, April, the announcement of it, because the development is still in progress, which might be completed in few weeks time. If, if everything goes well, I think it could be coming very early as the tweet says early 2022. So the first quarter or the second quarter of 2022, we might be getting Resident Evil 4 Remake, bigger, bigger expansion and like a bigger in terms of graphics part. So now moving on to the second news and this news could be, could be dealt and should be heard with very, very carefully for all the PC gamers. Now there were rumors going around where, where Microsoft acquire activation and so Sony is also a gaming giant and there were lots of rumor going around that the Sony would be buying EA, Ubisoft, whatever company Sony has a lot of money, has a lot of money so they can buy a lot of company but there are going to be consequences if Sony uh, who is such a big gaming uh, player uh, buys a bigger like EA is also a big gaming community, uh, gaming company. Ubisoft is also a bigger gaming company. And I don't see EA buying Take Two. That would be like very far fresh. But if Sony buys EA or Ubisoft, that could make PC gaming trouble. Because what could happen? When Sony buys EA or, for example, Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed game, the very good games for which, which used to come for PC, like Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, could become an exclusive property of PlayStation. And so what could happen that they would not be releasing them for PC. And so PC gamers would be eluded with such Far Cry game, Assassin's Creed game, or any game which EA also brings if and if Sony buys EA or Ubisoft. So that could really make PC gaming in trouble. So I'm hoping that EA would not be selling so easily to Sony or Ubisoft would not be selling so easily to Sony because if that happens, the exclusivity clause would be there and solely PlayStation, you know how they play, how they play. So if they, if they, if they buy these companies, they definitely are going to play on this and they are going to make Far Cry 6, Assassin's Creed. Imagine all this uh, favorite PC games getting exclusive control to Sony and they would make them make these games exclusively for PS5. How would that happen? And how would you feel about that? So currently that deal is rumors are going around, but I hope that deal doesn't go well. Uh, not, not necessarily because I think that if Sony buys Ubisoft or EA, they're definitely going to go for the exclusivity deal. And for that case, PC gamers will not be able to play. Uh, those games or PC. So that is my thought regarding it. Let me know your comments, your thoughts regarding both the situation. Are you happy with Resident 4 Remake? How excited about you? How excited you are about that? Plus, if Sony buys Ubisoft or EA, what are what is your reaction about this? This is also with Charismatic. See you in the video. Bye bye. Take care. If you have any gaming queries, this is the channel for you and this is the show for you. Bye bye. Take care. Keep supporting. Keep loving. And uh, always keep gaming.